debugging in eclipse so i have this setup ready i just created an object of employee and i'm using that uh, constructor with three parameter you see whatever this is visible to you it is just an what for our perception id is showing it the parameter list you can always go and do not show hints for current method and it will not show that uh, now if i go to employee and since this constructor is used out of all that i'll put on breakpoint here just go to left side of that and click there that's it that's what we call it as a breakpoint now I'll come to test and I'll right click here, run as debug as Java application or the shortcut is control shift D. This is the one control shift D. So I'll say control shift D for debug. Now debug started. Now what happens? The program will execute up to this line and it will stop here because there is a breakpoint here. Now I can go there and check what will be the value of that. See earlier it was zero. Now it is thousand one. This is not the code which is written along. Its ID is showing us what is the value of it. And it is also showing here what is the input is coming to this method. And as I compared to Eclipse, I found IntelliJ is doing a lot better job when it comes to what? Debugging. Now I'll go to, I'll say resume. So it'll go to the next step and it stops there. Name was null. Now it is Jack. And same way if I go to salary. Now see salary value is already 0, 0.0. Remember that? What is the first thing happen in any constructor is to initialize the data members with default values. So the salary has been initialized with 0, 0.0. Now if I say resume further and it breaks there, stops there. Now the salary value becomes 6060. The value is not reflecting here. Okay, so the value is reflecting here, which is old value. And the value reflecting here is the current value. Make sense? I click on resume and program, you know, done its execution it goes here and if you go to console it will simply print that output so this is what the meaning of debugging in advanced intel j course uh, that's going to be an what uh, paid course where i'm going to cover even more powerful mechanism of debugging for now whatever i taught you it's more than enough to start with intel j